Hello everyone, I'm Mewtwo, and welcome to Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. And he's got a frog, and some kind of like sloth looking thing. So let's just do it, let's play. I, it's it's a mystery game, it's really short, so. <laughs> okay, I got that down, let me move my keyboard a little bit closer. There go. It's a phone! <gasps> Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Oh, well, Selamat to Tan Kimbali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing ghosts for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he hires some of them, right? And then they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Oh! Ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help. They want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. The lobster cop wasn't available. <laughs> so I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. Sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I need to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Woohoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's all up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because <laughs> that's the title of this case. Uh, fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> what is that? Oh, right, here we go. Oh, it's a really tiny picture. This is a really <laughs> tiny picture. And it's very mo Okay. Magnifying glass. Ah, uh, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. I got it. Yay. Okay. Let's leave. Look through the magnifier with right click. Can I look at my picture closer? There's me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll go now. Time to solve a mystery. Every time I, every time I start talking in his voice, I rub my chin. I don't know why. <laughs> Grace Brooks never since. Uh, a frog detective adventure. <laughs> Are you killing a Dan Golding? <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Thank you. <laughs> Starring the detective, Martin, Larry, <laughs> Mo the Mouse Mouse, and Bernie, Fresh X, and the rest. <laughs> Just a bunch of things. Case one, The Haunted Island. Alright, let's do this. I'm good at solving mysteries and stuff. I'm, I'm good at using my Bonui brain. <laughs> he wants it. Hello. Hello, sir. Mystery monkey. Oh, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Uh, that's very kind of you. When you figure out who is behind... When you figured out who was behind the four steps in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals the entire forest? 
Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I, I missed you, Monkey 49. I comment all the time. <laughs> I even made a funny chuckle when you responded. Of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. <laughs> can I ask you some questions about this, guys? <laughs> questions? Yes. Uh, what would you like to know? Uh, the, re the rest of the... May I ask who the resident of this island is? Uh, De Debbie Martin. <laughs> you can find him hiding in the forest. He takes the ghost kit catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. Uh, what would you like to know? Uh -huh. Who should I talk to first? You talked to me already. <laughs> okay, who should I talk to second? Mm -hmm. Hey, Larry, the tall one. <laughs> he always wants to meet new people. Oh, no. <laughs> I think he mostly wants to meet pe new people to meet him. <laughs> Not so much the other way around. Yeah, I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? Uh, nothing right now. Okay. Hello, Epic. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. <laughs> Alright. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go. What's this? A magnet. This might come in handy. I'll just take it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I see a, a notepad with stuff on it. Notes. Some hole. Noises need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hello, sir. Hey. I said, hey. That's fine, I guess. Bored mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. Uh, I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? <laughs> Is it nothing ghost supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Splits ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings, but there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Uh, surely that's not true. Uh, maybe not, but it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool's look gross at all. This is a car this is a great conversation. <laughs> okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. I'd say that's someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you a weird one. But plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? <laughs> I'm wearing other sheep's hair. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Ugh, uh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like fire. <laughs> cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I'm wearing wool. Uh, what if it's Barney's? Might if I ask more questions? <laughs> ask away. Okay, this hole. Oh, what can you tell me about this hole? Oh, sorry, I clicked outside the screen. <laughs> I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. Not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out in there. <laughs> Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no questions right now, thanks. This is a brilliant conversation. Can I go in this hole? 
Hmm, I should have listened to the sign. Okay. <laughs> Can I take this wool? Oh, yes, right. I need a broom or fire or something. Okay, what we got here? Uh, remember, do not split up when... Oh, it's lightning. Oh, it was searching for ghosts. Like Scooby... <laughs> Scobby do. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. <laughs> okay. Alright. There's a cool on the water. Hey, what's up? Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. Oh, there's a storm. Yeah, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me, get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask you why you're sad? <laughs> well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Uh, I told you it's silly. Uh, why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, uh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast, too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. I mean, if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Uh, the ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, I'm not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. Uh, how long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Uh, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. <laughs> Is there anything else? Okay, here's the magnet, I guess. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. Hey, no problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. <laughs> I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. Yay. Two weeks. <laughs> All right, cool. God, there's so many people to talk to. Is this a starfish? Yes, it is. Hello. I can't. I can't investigate you. Apparently, I'm just happy to be there. All right. I got a shell now. I don't know what to do with that. Let's talk to this. Is Larry? Are you Larry? Oh, it's me, Larry. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. Huh? That's the same voice. Let me. <laughs> the noises are not coming from me. I didn't... I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's that's more suspicious somehow. What? <laughs> Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Uh, can I... Uh, Are you going to ask me questions? <laughs> what the hell's happening? Are you going to ask me questions? Uh, ask me them. The questions, I mean. Okay. Yeah. What can I tell you about the no- Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Uh, yep. Uh, but I know where they're coming from. What? <laughs> they're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you don't listen to us, we won't listen to you. <laughs> Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, Detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. That I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. <laughs> what? Oh, so they normal explosive ingredients. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. <laughs> Ask me then. The questions, I mean. Uh, I guess it's not grayed out, so. Yeah, you just toothpaste, some wool, chunk of your gold, some pasta. Thanks. All right. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste, some wool, chunk of... <laughs> Why is there two different options, right? 
I'm good, thanks. Alright, I guess we'll talk to this dude now. Mmm, hey, you're that detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Uh, why'd you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? A job list that said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people can figure out. Like me. Yeah, it still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Uh, can I ask some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But it does seem like noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Uh, that's a lot of good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Hello, Ace. Learning I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? <laughs> You mean you want to be a secret agent? Ugh. Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Burning winks. <laughs> Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? Why do you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine, you're not a secret agent. Whatever. What else do you want to know? Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Is that pasta? Can I take this? Yum, but it's not mine. Shit. Let's explore. God, there's so many characters. I gotta th keep thinking of voices. <clears throat> Howdy. <laughs> what is that? Hello. Are you the, uh. Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Shipment? <laughs> huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D Tech? Yes. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D Tech. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, uh not, not about the sun. Uh, about taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D Tech. Uh. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have a wonderful teeth. <gasps> Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep this so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 tooth, 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. Trademark, of course. Dr. Tight Smile's 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. Trademarked. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tip. All right, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? <laughs> um, well, I could give you my tip, but I would need like something else to keep my mind fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? That's it for that guy. All right. <laughs> Is that bunny butts? I'll come back later with some questions. See ya, D Tech. It's a plug. It's a boogie. Huh? Oh. Oof, I didn't expect to be so much dialogue. Oh, man, I'm sweating over here. <laughs> Wait, space brings it up, too. Interesting. Yeah. Another happy starfish. Can I go in this hole? I can't get any further down. <laughs> oh, God, look at all these characters. Oh, oh, did it just dab? What is this? Uh, step right there. Huh? Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, uh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I, I guess not. 
They're very fragile and small. Yeah, aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Uh, okay. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. Yeah, I am on alert. I'm protecting my shells. I'm from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. It's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. You know anything about that cave? Yeah, what? No. I'm not even sure if it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we just got to agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces like potato. <laughs> I do. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Ask me questions, okay. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? <laughs> you fool. Hey. So sorry. It's just that there's that many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. Okay, I got the shell. <laughs> I have a big shell if you want it. What? Hell. It's a long story. <laughs> oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, I wanted, I totally want the shell. Uh, can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. You got a magnifying glass. Another one. Ugh. Always asking questions. Ask me questions. Alright. No, you don't have anything. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a magnifying glass to do Magoo, I guess. Is there a sprint in this game? Gib. Give me the pasta. Questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. <gasps> Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams have come true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I can give you my lunch. Oh, what's it cook? What's cooking? Pasta, as always. And there's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of the magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. <laughs> All yours. Yeah, I got pasta. Okay, so I need to get toothpaste. Wait, what did I have to do to get, get this toothpaste? Let me see this bug's eyes real quick. Oh, damn. Yep. That's, that fucker seen some shit. Okay. All right, so I need a broom. Oh my god, that's Martin. He's the king. <clears throat> Whoa, who are you? I didn't mean to start you. I'm the foreign detective here from the agency. Uh, okay, don't sneak up on me like that. I was people for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess I just don't look, just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, King of the Island. Your king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I mean ask you, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. You mind if I ask a few questions? <laughs> Go ahead. Got questions for me? Oh my god, look at these questions. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Oops. <laughs> Anything else? Dance, dance, best dancer wins. Okay. Got to questions. That was it? <laughs> you mentioned your friend, family. Who is that? 
Henry lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Henry, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were so pretty amazing, not like me, she would probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with that whole spooky situation going on. Martin sighs. Got questions for me? <laughs> Can you tell me what the noise is and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that the ghost ghost can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got questions for me? <laughs> you seem super nervous. Is there anything I could do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living alone. Living one, sorry. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. I'll share we get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That's made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark. Just like the conclusion of this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm gonna find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I am finding it very hard to calm down. I understand ghosts are scary, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. You're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point, continue. <laughs> anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Oh, pure gold. Nice, okay. Well, that was amusing. <laughs> oh, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? <laughs> Not at the moment. <laughs> no questions for the time being. No problem. A broom. Oh, a broom. <laughs> Got broom. All right, let's go. Hey, Snick. <laughs> hey, Snick. It's just Snick. He's just chilling. <laughs> All right, let me sweep this shit up. How do I? I just gotta talk to you first. I can't remember the voices now. <laughs> I made out of all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes. Amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Whew. Got wool. Okay. Alright, so we got the wool, we got the gold, we got the... I see the toothpaste, I think. That's all I really need to get. He's a Missy Mouse. It's, it's, what was this thing? Like Frank the Mouse the Mouse or something like that? Oh, it's Mo. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, 
I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. Uh, but the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh, oh well, is it okay to ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing I told you. Oh, um, I, I am afraid of detectives? Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you afraid of me? I... Uh, 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 uh. Fine! You wore me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey's a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey's super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I, I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing, but I don't know how what style of dance will impress them. Uh, could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouthwash, mouthwash, mouthwash in return. <laughs> Mousewash, mouthwash, sorry. <laughs> sure thing, I'll do my best. What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mousewash, mouthwash. I'm happy to give it to you if you find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get to it, thanks. What can I tell about the ghost? There's a ghost? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Uh, uh, oh, a ghost scientist, not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, well, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast. Yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing this whole time? I'm not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. Uh, that happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> I'll come back later. Alright, let's go talk to Mystery Monkey and find out what kind of dance moves he uses. He's not wearing pants. <laughs> Questions, yes. What would you like to know? <clears throat> hey, so, uh, are you, uh, you like dancing and, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah kinda. Uh, what type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically have one move. Yeah, but, like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like this as of such a great dance? What? Uh, I guess I want to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, mm -hmm. I think brain dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Uh, sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I got a monkey fact. Oh my god. So it turns out you're like, what's this? Is that a caterpillar? <laughs> okay. You have some questions? Yes, yes, yes. Dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh, M did you mention me? Uh, what did Mystery Monkey say? Uh, does Mystery Monkey hate me? Uh, I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I could do that. I, I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouthwash, mouthwash. Okay, is there anything, like, back here? Is the water dangerous? Huh? What was that? I saw that. What the fuck? 
It's just some spooky shit in this game. <laughs> what was that? No. <laughs> there was something there. I know there was. I even saw it in the playback. Is it? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a stick bug. Hello. This place is fucking haunted. Now I'm like intrigued. Can I see this fucker again somewhere else? I, I told. Oh, is it Krub? Is it Krub? <laughs> hey, how's it going, Krub? Is that your lips? Do you have lips? Alright. I'm gonna have to, like, look back on that footage and, like, see what that was, because it definitely was something there. That's a boog. <laughs> I know, it's just like. You know, I, I was just curious. Something. God, what was that? Son of a bitch. I'm scared. All right. Here's your damn mouthwash. Back for questions. Take it away, T-Tech. Mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. <laughs> Ryan, will you use your toothpaste? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go, T-Tech. Sweet. <laughs> I like how he has to lounge next time to talk to him. Alright, I got all the ingredients, you dang crew Or lobster. The questions I mean. Explosion! Let's make some dynamite! Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> you got everything? Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice, I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, maybe. Uh, part one done, I guess. Jeez. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Mary, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like gawk spaces. I says, I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. I can't decide on an accent for that lobster. <laughs> Just like... Oh my god! What was it? Contact dynamite? Don't you usually, like, light a fuse and walk away from it? Just, like, chucked it at it. Alright, time to find a spooky ghost. Oh, this actually is a little bit spooky. Okay. Suppose I'll walk inside this mushroom filled hell. Spooky ghost? Spooky ghost. Hello? Do I hear music? Hey. Oh, oh, hi. Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I, I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing with the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen ghosts around? <laughs> nah, just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. Uh, he never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every space is haunted. Every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked up because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? 
Mm, I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. <gasps> you know, you've been treading here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Uh, really? Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I would actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You? What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. It turns out there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practice, she didn't even notice she got caved in. The cave got caved in, sorry. The noise is from a variety radio. Carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But my ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It goes to show you should never trust books. <laughs> anyway, always use the internet instead. <laughs> yeah, books are without exception factually inaccurate. Yep. Roll credits. <laughs> Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources, and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. Make sure you're just getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time. Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm not even entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm, that's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget to mow mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think we need more entrance. I know a few hard-working friends who could use a good bookie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Until tomorrow, sorry. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. I already figured out where the noises were coming from. Harry. Is that the lobster, the one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So shall we boogie? Let's go. <laughs> well then, alright. You're welcome. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's the best four dollars I ever spent. Alright. Well, that was amusing. <laughs> I really got my vocal cord stretched out and nice. Mm. <clears throat> Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. <laughs> what is happening? He's still holding the show.
feel like I've seen these dances before. You're not breakdancing. What is this? It's like the robot. Come on. Wait, why am I dancing? <laughs> I get to pick the winner? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, huh. And I kind of like this one. Why is it? What is happening? I thought the game was over. <laughs> Yay, Finley wins! When will this game end? <laughs> I was just asking that question. <laughs> oh, God. Well then. A little bit later. Oh, I got a new photo. Oh, it's other Tansy. Nice. Oh. Fire Detective Crime Solving Agency, Fire Detective speaking, how may I help you? Detective! Supervisor! Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you, I really tried hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where'd you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool! I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I, I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. Detective will return in... The case at the Invisible Wizard. <laughs> okay. Welp. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I'm speechless. Alright. <laughs> okay, this is the end, right? Alright. Before we, before, no, 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 before we fucking end this, I'm gonna figure out what that thing was. I'm gonna go in there, and we're gonna find it. <laughs> Cause it's probably gonna be there again. Yeah, fuck off. Alright, we get like half a second to look at this thing. I'm just gonna see what it is. What the hell? It's not there this time. What are you talking about? That's some kind of like rare bullshit that happens. Is that a glitch? I don't know. <laughs> I had no idea. It was some sort of weird creature, but it's not there this time, so. You know, I never went in the holes. It was there. I, I swear to Jesus. All right. Well, okay. That's the end of this game. Well, it was a lot of fun. It was very short and very cute and a lot of silly characters, but unfortunately I must go. Food calls me and I'm hungry, so I must consume. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for joining. I love you. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Goodbye, 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 see you later, alligator, an alligator, what, oh shit.